what's up y'all welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here my name is a t you can call me tia or sunny whichever one you like and today i am going to show you guys my nighttime skincare routine this was very highly requested so we is here firstly i wet my face a little bit before starting and then i go in and i take my holy grail cleanser which is a vino positively radiant brightening cleanser and I go in, period. I do this for about 30 seconds to a minute to make sure I get all the benefits of this cleanser. Funny thing is I've been using this cleanser for years, literally eight years to clear my eczema scars on my face um, or neck or just like any like dark spots I may have. After I take all that off and pat my face dry, I go in with my second cleanser and I use that one for about 30 seconds to a minute as well. And I typically really focus on the places I break out the most or have a lot of texture in. And those areas are usually my forehead, as you can see, my cheeks and my nose. Next, it is time to exfoliate, and I love exfoliating because I really feel like I'm doing something. I feel like I'm really putting in work. Also, my fingers are wet, and my face is wet as well. Well, my face is kind of like damp, but I do rub my fingers together with the exfoliant in my hand to create a paste, and then I just go to town. My skincare routine feels like a job sometimes because I really be like, <laughs> trying to get that clear skin all the time you know what i'm saying that flawless dewy glowy skin so i just be feeling like i be putting in a lot of work it it, it works though pays off in the end that bugs me about this exfoliant is the little beads are so freaking hard to come off. So I had to wet my face again to make sure everything was off and pat it dry. After going to school for aesthetics, I learned the importance of a toner. So I definitely have added this into my step and I've seen a huge difference. So I like to take a cotton round and this toner from Neutrogena because it's gentle and doesn't irritate my skin. Oh yeah, my skin type is normal. More so dry though, like yeah, she dry. And I'm pretty sensitive. After that, I take my sugar lip scrub and I got this in my February Ipsy Glam Bag Plus and I have been living for her. It gets 
all my dead skin off and makes my lips so, so, so soft. I love it. Oh, and the lip scrub, it really doesn't taste that bad. Like, I tasted it a couple times, and as you can see, like, I tasted it on here, and it doesn't taste that bad. Like, I ain't telling you to eat it or nothing, but if it gets in your mouth or something, it's not, like, ill. It's, like, yum. Now for my favorite part of my skincare routine is this because this has been treating my breakouts tremendously. Shout out to Lauren. All I do is take the pink part at the bottom. Make sure though that it is separate with the pink settle at the bottom and like that clear stuff at the top because all you want is the pink. So I just go around my face and put it anywhere where I have a pimple or a dark spot and I just leave it on for the whole night. But in the morning time, I'll just wash it off with my cleanser and do my little morning skincare routine. If you guys want to see my morning skincare routine, definitely let me know. Next up, I take an eye cream. So when I'm 50, I'll look 20. Only reason I like to use this Dermalogica eye cream is pretty much because I can see a difference under my eyes. My under eyes look way more youthful and I noticed that when I use my um you know concealer or whatever it doesn't look creasy she is a must have And then I just put on my Laneige sleeping mask. This is like a really bougie lip product, but I like it. It's pretty cute. After the five minutes are up for my eye cream, I massage it in and tap the excess into my skin. And I use my ring finger. I strongly suggest that you use your ring finger when you're dealing with under your eyes because it applies less pressure. Moving along, I take my Clean and Clear Dual Action Moisturizer that has salicylic Salicylic. I can never say that word. Salicylic acid in it to moisturize my face first. Bruh, I know I'm not the only one that be mispronouncing that word. Like, I be butchering it. <laughs> Next, I go on top of that moisturizer with my Dermalogica moisturizer to give me, you know, that extra, extra hydration. All right, you guys, so that is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it useful, helpful, and hopefully inspiring. If you did, definitely give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below what you want to see next. Share this video with your friends, your girlfriends, or wherever. Definitely subscribe if you're not already subscribed to this channel. And follow me on the gram, Snapchat, and Twitter. Also, stay tuned to next Thursday where I will give you guys part two to my skincare series. And... Yeah, that is it. <laughs> Love you guys so much, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.